Hi guys, I just wanted to um, give you a little update on the plot um, this morning. This is just a mini plot, we've done some videos on here before, um, but with a lot of people starting out growing veg for the first time, I thought what I'd do is set up a couple of little, little beds. Um, I mean these are about 10 foot by 4 foot, um, and see what we could grow on them this year. Um, so we've done a few videos from there, we've planted some peas and we've um, planted Swiss chard. Um, so I'll just give you a bit of a, an update on, on what's going on. So sorry to swing you around like that, but we'll start off from a little overview here. So you can see they're just two, two small beds. We've filmed some stuff over there before, I'll mention that in a moment. Um, we've got a few bits and bobs going on here. So um, start off with, we've got some broad beans. Excuse the, uh, the old plastic bag, that's my patented bird scarer. Don't want anybody copying that. Um, works really well. Um, just tie a polythene bag to a, a pole and you've got a, a nice instant bird scarer in the wind. Um, I'm sure you've seen plenty about, I didn't invent it actually. Um, so we've got some broad beans which have grown pretty well. The bees have been buzzing around and pollinating the flowers um, and they lovely crop, they all look nice. This is a nice sort of shorter variety of growing this time. Um, sown back earlier earlier in the year um, and it's doing okay. Um, should start to get some pods forming very soon. Next to that we've got an abysmal row of parsnips. Now the ones I'm showing you here, uh, if I can find them. Here we go, um, the only ones that germinated. Um, so what I've done is to plant some onions, which you'll barely be able to see against the soil. There's some um, Italian variety of onion which is growing. Um, and just behind those, another row of radishes. I've been growing radishes in the polytunnel and this is the first one growing outside now because uh, we're filming this beginning of May and um, if, if I've sown the polytunnel in May, they just run to seed, don't grow very well. So that's a, a row of radishes. We've got um, next to that, we've got some more onions. We eat a lot of onions in this in this house. So we've got some. Uh, the bigger ones are actually spring onions, which uh, were sown in little modules, and which are growing quite well. So they were sown in cell trays, pinch of seed in each cell, and. Um, you can see they're growing up nicely, so hopefully another month we'll have some nice big spring onions there. Next to those, um, we've got some uh, more of the Italian onions uh, interspersed with about two parsnips. I didn't pull them up, I'm determined I love parsnips, so even if I only get two, I'm going to be eating some parsnips this year. Next to those, we've got carrots, a bit of a patchy germination on the carrots but that's nothing unusual. I haven't thinned them yet um, but I will do soon. That's a variety called St Valerie which is a, a nice sort of um, thin rooted variety which I like, I've grown before. Very nice. Um, next to that we've got some shallots. Yet more onions but slightly different so very popular in the kitchen these and uh, as you can see they're splitting nicely, growing away quite nicely. Next to those, um, this pile of strawy looking stuff, this is actually strolch, which is a, a mulch for the garden, but I use it to grow some um, as, a, as a covering for my potatoes. Um, anyone who's watched, the, we, we did do a video on planting these, this was a bag of potatoes which looked really awful. Um, they were all I could get at the time from the garden centre after lockdown. Um, they had great big shoots on them. But we stuck a few in anyway, a few in bags and a few here. And as you can see, um, they are shooting, doing perfectly okay actually. And as they're coming through, I've been putting the strolch on top um, to earth them up. Because we were growing on a tiny bed, you haven't got room for all the earthing up you might do on a big plot. So we're just covering them over. They're only a trail's deep depth in the soil, so we just keep covering them over and um, until the uh, frosts are over. 
and then they'll grow up and we'll get a few, hopefully get a few spuds out of those. Let's see, doing okay. So that's all in that first bed. In the second bed, what have we got? Oh, we've got a little pot of onions and we did do a video on planting those uh, about three or four weeks ago, uh, which you'll find on YouTube. And um, so you can see they're doing pretty well. That's some red onions which were an autumn planting variety actually and should have gone in in the autumn I forgot them, found them again, stuck them in and if nothing else we'll get some spring onions from those but actually what I'll do is pull some, let the rest grow and perhaps we'll get some slightly bigger bulbs for the kitchen over here, interesting thing here we've got some perennial onions which have been in all winter of course um, now these, a bit of a mixture um, the ones in front are the um, tree onions or walking onions and you can see that instead of flowering on the top we can find one they produce more onions little, if I can get that to focus there we go more little onions and that will just bend over lay on the soil you can even pin it down if you want to and then eventually they'll root and these ones in the front the ones that did that just that last year they've rooted in fact they're starting to produce little little walking onions of their own um, and the idea is that you you let them grow you can see they're they're forming bulbs under the ground or on, on just under the surface let them bulk up dig them up use some of them replant the rest and then let them walk as it were around the plot and uh, replant themselves behind that one those two plants there which are the walking onions is a Welsh onion which will have flowers on top it's just starting to flower lovely white flowers which are bees love um, but same thing again in, in a way it's perennial so it will just sit there bulk up or split it replant it um, so yeah perennial onions the only problem I do have with them is they will get rust later on in the year um, but they grow through it as you can see they were quite rusty last year but uh, they're beautiful at the moment next to those we've got the rainbow chard that we planted a few weeks ago you can see the video on this um, these were sown in the spring um, if you watch Gardeners World recently you'll see Monty Auntie Don had sown some in the autumn and was harvesting his now, um, his perpetual spinach, which is a, a, the, the ordinary white form of this rainbow chard. Um, these ones are multicoloured stems, so we've got uh, over there we've got some yellow one, and then you've got red ones, a bit of a mixture actually, red and yellow there. Um, red, so they're very pretty, um, they'll get to about 18 inches tall and uh, we'll be able to harvest those well we'll start with we could harvest them now you could harvest them with small leaves now if you wanted to um, but I'm going to let them grow and then we'll be harvesting those probably in a month's time just a few leaves off each plant right the way through the year um, they'll overwinter we can get another crop off of them in the spring before they go to seed by which time I'll have sown some more and can replace them Next to those we've got the peas, this is a pea called Valido which I planted, uh, which was sown in the spring in guttering um, and again we've got a video on, on these and um, we've, uh, I filmed the planting of these about a week or two back so you can see that they're, they're growing well up these hazel supports, we're lucky we've got a hazel plant, a couple of hazel plants in the garden and we stool one of them every two or three years and uh, borrow all the, all the nice sticks it gives you, the pea sticks um, as you can see they're growing up there really well um, so it's a main crop pea um, hopefully it will start flowering in a few weeks time they'll grow very quickly now if we get, the, get some good weather um, and hopefully in a month's time or so we'll be harvesting some nice pods of peas next to that um, this is some rocket which hasn't rocketed at all um, it was sown in a tray 
um, the idea of just picking it off, picking off odd leaves as salad leaves, which I do quite often. For some reason, it didn't grow very well. Uh, I've got some in the polytunnel, which I'll show you on another video, which is enormous. We've been eating it for ages, and uh, in fact, we're about to make some rocket pesto to finish it up before it goes to seed. But this just didn't do it. Um, don't know why. So rather than throw it away, I've planted it out, and I think. I planted this out, and he planted it out about three or four days ago, but already the plants are improving. So I don't know whether they got just a bit too dry in the tray, um, or the compost wasn't brilliant or something, but they do seem to be improving, so I'm hoping to get some leaves off of those before they go to seed. And then next to that, there's another patented bird scarer there to keep them off the peas. Lots of pigeons around here. Empty patch of soil, which is just ready for my courgettes, which are in the greenhouse at the moment. Um, and I'll show you on another video, we'll take a little tour of the greenhouse. So there you go, it's just to show you really what you can grow in a small space. A lot of these things like the peas um, and the radishes that we've got over here, very temporary of course. Um, there's some lettuces there, which I didn't mention, which is a um, a remain type of lettuce. Uh, where are we? Find them for you there. Um, again, planted those about three weeks ago. Um, that's a, a variety I haven't grown before called Valmain, um, which is looking rather nice. Um, so, again, you know, a lot of these things temporary, the spring onions. So, the trick will be to have things ready, have some seeds ready or some young plants ready to fill the gaps. Um, once uh, things are harvested and keep these little 10 by 4 beds as full as possible. But I uh, hope that goes to show you what you can grow in, in small beds. Um, oh, I will just show you one last thing. Just around here we've got the potatoes that we, I mentioned potatoes, and we did, I did show you at the time planting some in bags. Um, again, you'll see them on the video. Um, these have been in about um, about two weeks, not very long. Uh, I've been earthing them up, so I've been filling up the bags with compost as the plants have been growing. I'm rolling the bag, putting a bit more. In fact, they need topping up again. I only, only did them about three days ago. Um, horrible little tubers. They were the only ones I could get again. Not, not very good at all. Great big long shoots on them. Um, but as you can see, I think they're going to be absolutely fine. So perhaps you don't need to be too fussy about your seed potatoes. Um, oh, one final thing on this bed. Don't forget you can grow fruit, in, even in a small space. So we've got a couple of blackberries here. Blackberries are our absolute favourites. These were only planted last year, so they're still only small plants. And having said that, what I've got over here, it's established rather well and it's starting to, to flower rather nicely so I um, haven't got any open flowers to show you yet but this has lovely lovely white flowers um, lovely to look at as well as to eat and uh, so don't forget you know any any available space wall whatever these are just on wires posts and wires as you can see there don't forget to put in a few um, a few fruit plants or you could plant some strawberries um, to go along with your with your veggies. Okay, so we'll that's that's these two little beds. We'll uh, do another update in a few weeks' time, and you can see how they're progressing. And uh, we'll have a little walk around the the greenhouse, and I'll post another video on progress in the greenhouse and polytunnel shortly too. Don't forget to um, comment below. Uh, let us know what you're doing. Always interested to know what you're doing. If you've got any questions, if you want to know more about what we're growing here, then do let me know. Um, always happy to chat. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll talk again soon. Bye.